Gargoma somehow finds a suit of medieval armor. Everyone's just- it's a, it's a whole bunch of knights of the round table just here. <laughs> How many knights do we have? If someone in the comments tell me all of the people by the end of this, <laughs> all of the people who donned a knight's armor, and I'm going to make them the knights of the round table. <laughs>another fine friday in the year of the aviator and it's finally time in one week's time seven days from the release of this episode will be the season one finale of danganronpa hunger games that's right we have been through 24 episodes and i'm just already excited for season two because i've got like I've got plans, you guys, for season two, because it can't just be exactly the same thing as season one. I, I gotta change some things up. I I'm excited for it. I'm very excited for it. You guys, you guys can see what I have planned. But you'll, you'll, you'll hear about that probably next week or sometime in between the two seasons. I guess I need to decide when that next season's gonna start, because I want to do some episodes in between the two seasons, but that's not what... Let's, let's stop talking about next season when this season's not even done yet, because... If you're looking right now, and I know that you're seeing it. You're seeing all of these people lined up. It is Danganronpa Final Hope. The final hope for all of these characters to finally get themselves a win. Every character who has been in the series so far who does not have a win is in this game. As you can see, it's all the characters from the games, the anime... And all of the extra characters too, like the Justice Hammers, you peeping them there. The Justice, the Robot Justice, all of the Adult Hunt, all of the Student Council, I'm even there. It's, uh, it's gonna be a fun one, you guys. So, first of all, we gotta go through and we gotta do this really fast. We gotta get through this list of people so that I don't take up 10, 15 minutes trying to get through this. I'm gonna run down them very quickly. In fact... Put a timer, please actually don't do that, don't put a timer up, I'm not going for any <laughs> speed on this one because there's like 99 people we gotta get through. At the top, let's start it off, we've got... Hifumi, Kiyotaka, Leon, Kyoko, Mukuro, Sakura, Yasuhiro, Mondo, Celeste, Fetogami, Chiaki, Akane, Gundam, Crazy, Hiyoko, my man's wizard robe, Hajime, the ultimate pimp, Kazuichi, Mikan, Nagito, and shall we continue with Peko, Sonya, Izuru, Kamakura, Teru Teru Shuichi, hashtag justice for Himiko, Maki, Cheeseburger Rantaro, Kurumi, Angie, Kori, 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 in the house, Kaito, Sumugi, Kibo, Komaru, Ibuki, Jataro, Katoko, and let's go on even further with Monica, Haiji, Hiroko, Taichi, Yuta, Monokuma, Shirakuma, Kurakuma, Monadam, Masaru, Monophony, Sasa, oh my god, Sasuke, wrong, Monosuke, Monotaro, Chisa, Daisaku, Monokid, Juzo, Tengen, and if we keep on going, we have Kizakura, Munakata, the great Gozu, Ruruka, Izayoi, Seiko, Maya, Mitarai, and then we got a bunch of shenanigans. Like... AI Gonta, The Outside World, Donuts, Sister, Alter Ego, Mechamaru, Justice Hammer 2, and Justice Hammer 3, along with their father, Robot Justice, <laughs> Mr. Kyoko's dad, aka Jin Kiri Giri, Hero's Crystal Ball, and their counterpart, the Shot Put Ball. And from the adult hunt on one episode, we had Pennyworth, Ayaka, Fujito, Fujiko, the Grand Boy Sherry Ludenberg. Kameko, Kanon, uh, Kinshiro, Takaaki, Takamichi, and the Student Council. We have Murasame, Karen, uh, Kotami, Sosuke, Kiroko, Aiko, Tomohiko, Tsubasa, Suzuko, the Fire Lord's daughter. 
Askase, Ryota, Taro, Daiki, and me, your United States Aviator, fan art by Cyrus and Co. And someone pointed out to me in the comments that <laughs> that last time, I think the very last episode that we had, the one right before, or I guess two before, last week, last week's episode on the simulator, we had the only appearance of non-AI Chiaki. Every other time we've technically used AI Chiaki, but... Since that's technically a different Chiaki, we gotta put her in here, too. Hoo boy. And speaking of fan art, I got a, a couple extra pieces of fan art this week. This one is over on Instagram, which I didn't see for a little while because I don't really use Instagram. And don't worry, we'll get to Twitter, too, because there's one there because I don't really use that either. Even though in the comments, uh, not in the comments, in the description, I'm always like, follow me on the socials. I, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start using them. Nobody hold me to that, but I'm gonna start using them. Uh, we have this amazing piece of fan art right here. Uh, go ahead and follow them. I, I really like the style on this one and playing on it. It's, it's just, it's just so much, so much is right about this one. But I, I just, I, I'm a huge fan. I love it. I do. I truly do. That's it. Browsing call. Amazing. Over from Twitter, we have this fantastic piece of fan art. I, anytime I get fan art, I'm just gonna run through it probably at the beginning, right before I, uh, get into the episode. Over here, another another glorious piece of fan art. It's just, it's, I, I didn't, I, I know I mentioned it last episode because I was just excited to get a piece of fan art. I was like, oh, that's neat, that's so cool. And then there's just two more, and I'm like, wow, this is, what is life? You guys are great. You guys are, so go, go follow them. I actually didn't click follow for you, but I need to. You, you're followed now, look at that. <laughs> and I already clicked follow on you. They've got some good art. They, they're, they're cool peeps, but that's everybody. <laughs> That was fantastic fan art, and also, what I forgot to mention, you may have noticed during the run-through, but everybody's got a flamethrower. What better way to combat despair and make someone the beacon of hope by providing them the means of light to guide us through the darkness? Ladies and gentlemen, the Flames of Hope will cleanse through 98 of these competitors and one person will be left standing. And I say person, but I know we've got donuts and cats and robot bears in here. So who knows who's gonna win? But speaking of who knows who's gonna win, none of us do. Not even me right now. Me putting this video up, I know it in advance, so I'm, I'm probably like trolling you guys in the comments a little bit. But. Who's gonna win? Nobody knows. You guys don't know until you've watched the rest of this video. Who you think is going to win is a different story because now is the time to pause the video. Go down there. And because we have 99 people, I'm going to give you guys a grand total of nine picks. Yeah. Yeah, right? I'm going to give you a 1 in 11 chance of winning because we have a lot of people. And I'm sure you have more than like one favorite it's probably gonna be so hard to choose one favorite i am i'm gonna pick one person to win they're gonna lose because that's just how it goes ladies and gentlemen go ahead into the comments make your nine picks and tell me just tell me who you how have you enjoyed this series so far because it's coming to it not the series is coming to a close tell me how you've enjoyed the season because let me reiterate we're not done with Danganronpa Hunger Games. There's still plenty of ideas that we can go through. And Season 2 is going to be fantastic. I'm so excited for Season 2. You guys have no idea. There's so many ideas going through here. Anywho, pause it. Go down. We, we're not talking about Season 2 because we're not done with Season 1. Go down there right now. Pause it. Tell me the 9 people you're picking. You have a 1 in 11 shot, the best shot you've ever had in this series, might I add. So get down there and... Oh! Oh, oh, you already- you just- oh, you didn't already do- I, I was just paused, I didn't- oh, Look at you guys, going down there and commenting. That's- that's what I like. That's what I like about you guys. You guys are great. Go getting down there in the comments. That's fantastic. So, I know I have to pick one person. And, specifically, I really, I really do want me to win. You know how last time I was like, I really hope I don't win, because I don't really want to put myself in any more episodes, even though I knew I would have to put myself in one more episode. 
But now the rest of the squad is in that episode, the winner's episode, and I feel like I need to be there. But I also don't want to take away this final hope from someone who deserves it. So, I'm gonna pick. It's gonna be a weird pick. Not even really a weird pick, but someone who I think kind of really deserves a win, who doesn't get a lot of shine in the comments, but has gotten a little shine in the comments. I want Sonya to win. I want Miss Sonya Nevermind to take a victory this time. I think she's deserved it. I think there hasn't been a lot of chatter in the comments for her. I think she absolutely does deserve some hashtag justice too. But, that's just my opinion. Let's see, hopefully she doesn't get hit with the flames of justice, but we gotta get into this one because it's gonna be a long episode. You guys have probably already seen the, the time at the end of this episode. Let's find out who is going to be the final hope. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start the round. I hope you guys are excited, as I am, because we're starting and we're already seeing a lot of, a lot of orange red for death. Round one, there's no podiums, but there are tributes, so sound those horns! Nikan twiddles her thumbs. Rantaro has immediately taken his cheeseburgers and, and just delicately places them aside as he dons a caveman outfit. Ladies and gentlemen, cheeseburger caveman Rantaro. Monokuma really wants to use his flamethrower. Mr. Kyoko's dad wants the, uh, to end things once and for all with Maki. Maki bites the dust. Wow, that's... Was Maki the first death? That's strange. Strange to say the least. Poor Maki. Masaru feels strong enough to handle anything. Sister's only looking out for herself. Hiro's crystal ball and Kameko joyfully incinerate each other with flamethrowers. When the fire dies down, there's not much left of them. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like the crystal ball should have been able to withstand the heat, but apparently it cracked. Taichi wants this to be over already. Pennyworth spots something shiny in the distance. Fujito, who looks very similar to Pennyworth, to be honest, I get them confused sometimes, stares into the distance. Hizakura ambushes Karumi and murders her. Rest in peace, Karumi. Ibuki starts sobbing uncontrollably, sad. Kurakuma is looking for an easy way out. Robot Justice tries to kill Murasame, but Murasame retaliates and kills him instead. Armed with a flamethrower, Justice Hammer 2 incinerates Mr. Kyoko's dad to a crisp. So long, Jin Kiri Kiri. Sakura finds a suit of medieval armor. That's gotta be a really buff suit of medieval armor. <laughs> We've got the, the freaking buff knight Sakura. Good on her. Um... Karen really wants to use her flamethrower. Akane hopes she doesn't have to harm anyone. Tomohiko feels strong enough to handle anything. Cory in the house has snapped. He is Cory, Cory, Cory in the house, and he has gone crazy. It's a party every week, baby. Monophony is being adorable as always. Komaru finds a rocket launcher. That's gonna end well. Shuichi gets mauled by wild animals. Rest in peace, Shuichi. You don't get a lot of love, apparently, either from these games. Monodam tries to kill Sakura, but Sakura's knight armor diverts the blow. Ruruka doesn't care much for this place. Nagito sets down a trap. Gundam mopes around uselessly. That's sad. Kaito looks around for stuff to scrounge. Takaaki doesn't really want to, but has uh, finds himself having to get rid of Celeste. Rest in peace, Celeste. Ganon is caught in one of Nagito's traps. Rest... Well, she's not dead yet, but I still say rest in peace. That sucks. Alter Ego finds a lovely bikini and puts it on. It's quite revealing. I, I, now I just, like, imagine a, a computer screen wearing a bikini. But the... the I, I guess Kyoko's hair isn't really pink. It's more of a purple or whitish. Who knows? I think it's purple. But Katoko and Kyoko, whose names sound fantastic uh, together, by the way, joyfully incinerate each other in the flames of hope. When the fire dies down, there's not much left of them. Angie stares into the distance, armed with the flamethrower. Mondo burns Ryota. Uh, Monosuke feels protected by his wealth. The Great Gozu wants to end things once and for all with Justice Hammer 2, and Justice Hammer 2 is out of here. Tsumugi is looking out only for herself. Shirakuma is looking for an easy out. The Grand Boy Sheri Ludenberg wants to use his flamethrower. Monica and Chisa joyfully incinerate each other with the Flames of Hope, both under the influence of Junko and Oshima. They take each other out. I like that. <laughs> Azuru won't die like the others. Justice Hammer 3 attacks Ruruka from behind and eviscerates her. Hajime finds some leather scraps. Not the wood. He, in fact, he delicately patches them together into a caveman wizard robe. Good job, wizard robe, Hajime. Maya is thinking for plans to get out of here. Kenshiro gets cocky and ends up dying from a stupid mistake. That's probably accurate because I don't see anybody here killing you. 
Uh, Aiko feels sorry for Cannon and frees her from the trap. Oh, look at her. Uh, Monotaro doesn't really understand what's happening. Izuoi tries to kill Sakura, but the knight's armor diverts the blow. I am looking around for stuff to scrounge. I found a pencil. Um... Uh, Suzuko thinks about what she did to end up here. Haiji twitches uncontrollably. Subasa doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Armed with his flamethrower, Takamichi torches Haiji to a crisp. Good job, Takamichi. Everyone's gonna be cheering for you in the comments. Peko sizes her muscles. Murasame gets mauled by wild animals. Juzo challenges a Mechamaru to a duel and Juzo bites the dust. The man's a robot. What are you doing, uh, Juzo? Uh, Shot Football really wants to use their flamethrower. Fujiko wishes she could go home. Taro really wants to stand already. Donuts are twiddling their thumbs. That is mildly disturbing. Hiro looks around for stuff to scrounge. Jotaro is snapped. Seiko killed, uh, tries to kill Teratero, but Teratero retaliates and kills her instead. Fatsugami is protected by his wealth. Hifumi fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Uh, AI Chiaki doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Non-AI non -AI Chiaki thinks about what she did to end up here. That's interesting. <laughs> Kiyotako really wants to use his flamethrower. Himiko mopes around uselessly. Kiroko does something really cute. Leon doesn't really understand what's happening. Teru Teru tries to get other Shinodas. And Mitarai wishes he could go home. Daisaku sobs quietly. Asukase sets down a trap. Yuta gets caught in that trap. AI Gonta is looking for an easy out. Kibo twiddles his thumbs. Mukuro seems unshaken by any of this. Crazy Yoko seems particularly erratic today. Munakata twitches uncontrollably. Kotami and Daiki joyfully incinerate each other in the flames of hope. And when the fire dies down, there's nothing left of them. Kazuichi, the ultimate pimp, doesn't feel prepared for any of this. He needs another pimp to comfort him. Tengen tries to kill Sakura, but Sakura's knight armor diverts the blow for, I think, a third time today. Ayaka attacks Kaito from behind and slaughters him, armed with the flamethrower. The outside world, that's technically you guys in this scenario, incinerates Mono Kid. Good job on your kill, everybody. Hiroko wasn't looking and fell off a cliff. Sonya really wants to use her flamethrower, and Sosuke won't give up so easily. Ladies and gentlemen, 25 dead in one round that's what i was talking about Whew, 25 people that's bigger than the standard game that we usually do all died this round and ladies and gentlemen the largest claire de lune yet for maki kameko hero's crystal ball kurumi robot justice mr kyoko's dad shuichi Celeste, Kyoko, Kotoko, Ryota, Justice Hammer 2, Chisa, Monica, Ruruka, Kenshiro, Haiji, Murasame, Juzo, Seiko, Daiki, Kotami, Kaito, Monokid, Hiroko, and, <laughs> whew, I need a breather after <laughs> the onslaught that I did at the end of this, but we can't waste any time. We still have 74 people remaining. Let's go ahead and let's get into this next round. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for round two. If we go to the top, we can see, oh my gosh, Chiaki has caught a strange glow in the corner of her eyes and she has pulled out the ancient scepter. The most dangerous thing in the game that I I feel like the most dangerous thing in the game, personally. Tsubasa feels sorry for Yuta and frees him from the trap. Pimp Kazuichi tries to get others to notice him. He's trying to gather himself a a a, a gaggle of pimpies? Question mark? Kiroko is little, being adorable as always. Justice Robot is dead. Masaru sizes his muscles. Crazy Yoko tries to kill Murakata, but Mukana, uh, Murakata retaliates and kills her instead. Sosuke duels it out with donuts, and Sosuke eats the donuts. Izuyoi looks around for stuff to scrounge. AI going to find some leather scraps, and it is now both of the uh, computers wearing a bunch of freaking caveman gear. Okay, caveman... No, the other one... Uh, Alter Ego is technically wearing a bikini, but you know what? They're just two laptops wearing clothes. I'm for it. Ibuki doesn't really understand what's going on. Taka wonders about the future. Takaaki tries to kill Sakura before another time in a row. Her knight's armor diverts the blow. Kurakuma is looking for someone dumb enough to believe him. Kibo wishes he could go home. Aiko hopes she doesn't have to harm anyone. Mitarai really wants to use his flamethrower, but Tengen and Takaaki joyfully incinerate each other in the flames of hope. And they're both out of here. Non-AI Chiaki wonders about the future. Angie does something really cute. Komaru 
really loves the way her rocket launcher feels on her shoulder. I guess that's her replacement for her megaphone. <laughs> Suitable replacement! I think this one's gonna work a little bit better. Monotaro is looking out only for himself. Monodam is on the verge of snapping. Armed with her flamethrower, Karen eliminates Tomohiko and burns him to a crisp. Rantaro hopes he doesn't have to harm anyone. Monoscape finds this all below his concern. Kizakura spots something shiny in the distance. Taichi is thinking of plans to get out of here. Penny's worth, uh, Pennyworth challenges Samugi to a duel. Pennyworth bites the dust. She's dangerous, Pennyworth. I don't know if you knew. Gundam thinks of a dark, dark poem. Monophony really wants to use her flamethrower. Himiko attacks the United States aviator. That's me from behind and strangles him. Himiko, you better win this one. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Akane twiddles her thumbs. Sonya really wants to use her flamethrower. Peko finds a suit of medieval armor, and now there's two knights in this game. Two knights in shining armor. Monokuma tries to kill Sakura, but Sakura's knight armor diverts the blow. Justice Hammer 3 and Azuru joyfully incinerate each other in the flames of hope. There goes Azuru, technically losing to himself and a Justice Hammer. Nagito is determined to survive this. Leon doesn't really understand what's happening. Fat Togami wasn't looking and fell off a cliff. The outside world can't wait to kill again. Ayaka finally snaps and she is frenzied. In a fit of frenzy, Jotaro kills Izayoi. No more sweets for him. Mukuro seems unshaken by any of this. Takamichi stares into the distance. Sakura sizes her muscles. Fujiko wants this to be over already. Yuta spots something shiny in the distance. Daiki, uh, Daisaku, I'm sorry, Daiki's dead. Just wants this to end already. Shirakuma finds a dapper suit and puts it on. It's rather fetching. You know what? When I saw Monokuma in Danganronpa 2 put on a dapper suit, I thought it was rather fetching. It's probably gonna look just as nice on you. Good on you, Shirakuma. Hero hopes he doesn't have to harm anyone. Shot put ball, tries to kill Yuta, but Yuta, I guess, slaps him out of the way, even though that probably would have broken his hand. Retaliates and kills the shot put ball. That sounded ridiculous, but Asukase sets down a trap. Uh, Nakamaru is smart enough to disarm one of Asukase's traps. Interesting. I guess he's got a robot brain, too. Taro is being adorable as always. Armed with her flamethrower, Maya burns down the house that Cory stands in. Munakata finds some leather scraps and is now a caveman. Teru Teru finds a shotgun that is dangerous. <laughs> Alter Ego flaunts their bikini. That's so cute. So, Suzuko, daughter of the Fire Lord, finds a sword shiny and sharp. It's a rather nice find. Hiro challenges Mikan to a duel, but Mikan destroys Hiro. Rest in peace, Hiro. The grand boy really wants to use his flamethrower. Fujito attacks Asukase from behind and slaughters him. The great Guzu doesn't really want to, but finds himself having to get rid of Taro. Hufumi doesn't really understand what's happening. Mondo hums a song to himself. Sister tries to kill Sakura, but Sakura's armor diverts the blow. That's happened so often. Her freaking Knight Sakura, buff Knight Sakura is just the best. Cannon is looking for an easy out. Hajime is wearing leather scraps and it's a sight to behold. His leather, uh, wizard robe. We lost quite a few. Well, we still have 58 left, but let's get ourselves a Claire de Lune for the Fallen Tributes. Crazy Hyoko. Donuts. Takaaki. Tengen. Tomohiko. Pennyworth. Me. <laughs> Izuru. Justice Hammer 3, Bat Togami, Izayoi, Shot Put Ball, Cory 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 in the house, Yasuhiro, Asukase, Taro. Well, the whole squad will not be there in the final episode, but ladies and gentlemen, we still have to find out who will be there. 58 remain, let's continue. Who's going to get out next? Who's going to win this whole thing? Teru Teru reloads his shotgun just in case. Yuta looks around for stuff to scrounge. Rats, uh, Rantaro eats something he shouldn't have and dies of horrible stomach pains. He's just been carrying around those two hamburgers, those two cheeseburgers for Cheeseburger Rantaro. And I guess they were just, one of them had spoiled meat. Someone sabotaged one of his cheeseburgers. That's, that's how Rantaro got out. Disappointing. They knew he couldn't resist the cheeseburgers. Mitarai wants this to be over already. Mai is cooking up a genius idea. Alter Ego and Ibuki joyfully incinerate each other in the flames of hope. Ibuki with her, her flaming guitar and Alter Ego with a firewall. I think that that's clever. <laughs> Madasuke finds all this below his concern. Pekka is ready to cleave some invaders with her knight's armor. 
Kibo really wants to use his flamethrower. Cannon finds a dapper suit and puts it on. It's rather fetching. Mondo now also has an ancient scepter. Oh my. Mondo and Chiaki are dangerous right now. Samugi is looking out only for herself. Daisaku doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Monotaro finds a rocket launcher. That's gonna end well. No, he's terrifying with a rocket launcher. That's not okay. Taka hums a song to himself. Komaru is really just digging her rocket launcher. Leon fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Angie starts sobbing uncontrollably. Hifumi hopes he doesn't have to harm anyone. Uh, and he doesn't because Kurakuma destroys him. So long, Hifumi. Mikan won't give up so easily. Munakana is on the verge of snapping. Akane looks for stuff to scrounge. Himiko mopes around uselessly. Armed with a flamethrower, Taichi burns Taka to a crisp. Sister really wants to use her flamethrower, then use it, girl. Karen tries to kill Taichi, but Taichi wants to- This is two in a row for Taichi. Retaliates and kills her instead. Takamichi twiddles his thumbs. The outside world tries to kill Peko, but Peko's knight armor diverts the blow. Aiko doesn't understand what's happening. Suzuko, the daughter of the Fire Lord, swooshes her sword. Uh, swooshes the air with her sword. Monadam and the grand boy Sherry Ludenberg burn in the flames of hope. Non Ai Chiaki doesn't feel prepared for any of this, so Sakura sizes her muscles, Nagito sets down a trap, there will be no justice for Himiko, cause Kizakura attacks Himiko from behind and murders her. Ai Gonta gets caught in one of Nagito's traps, all he can do now is hope to be freed. Monokuma looks for someone dumb enough to believe him, Hajime, uh, Hajime wearing his, his wizard robe, leather armor is just fantastic. Masaru torches Peko to a crisp using his flamethrower. Kiroko is being adorable as always. Gundam starts sobbing uncontrollably. Snap out of it, Gundam, please. <laughs> Fuhito spots something shiny in the distance. Kibo challenges the Great Gozu to a duel. Kibo bites the dust. Kibo, that was a mistake. He is He's the champ, man. He is the champ who's yet to win, and he's looking for it this time. Chiaki polishes her ancient scepter. Mechamaru won't give up so easily. Kazuichi the Pimp tries to get others to notice him. Shirakuma wants to use his flamethrower in his bad pursuit. Subasa hums a song to herself. Jitaro looks for his next victim. Mana Manofani is being adorable as always. Sonya finds some leather scraps. There's so many cavemen in this game. In a fit of frenzy, Ayaka creeps up on the Fire Lord's daughter and turns her inside out. Fujiko wanders off and gets lost, never to be seen again. Sosuke finds a rocket launcher. There's now three li uh, rocket launchers in play. Mukuro is only looking out for herself. We've got 45 left. 54 are dead. And the Claire de Lune for the Fallen Tributes. A few fan favorites in this one. We lost. Cheeseburger Rantaro. Ibuki. Alter Ego. Hifumi, Kiyotaka, Karen, the Grand Boy, Monadam, Hashtag Justice for Himiko, Peko, Kibo, the Fire Lord's daughter, Suzuko, Fujiko. 45 left. We are just under the, the uh, amount of people that were in the largest Hunger Games that we had. And we've still got 45 to go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's proceed. I don't know who's gonna win. It's really a toss-up this time, but let's go. Let's go all the way up here. Round four, Monophony really wants to use her flamethrower. Kizakura tries to kill Hajime, but Hajime uses his wizard robe, his leather wizard robe, diverts the shot, and kills Kizakura instead. Subasa hopes she doesn't have to harm anyone. AI Gonta was struggling in the trap and cuts himself pretty bad. Is he leaking, like, oil or computer components? Okay. Gundam is moping around uselessly. Sonya feels sorry for AI Gonta and frees him from the trap. Monotaro loves the way the rocket launcher feels on his shoulder. Nagito sets down a trap. Chiaki polishes her ancient scepter. Uh, Monokuma tries to kill Sakura, but her knight's armor diverts to blow again. Leon fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Sakura sizes her muscles inside of her knight's armor. Oh, play that music. Mondo calls down arcane fury on Chiaki, her ancient scepter beaming with an inner rage. For a second, nothing happens. Chiaki opens her mouth to say something, and then starts peeling away, layer by layer. Chiaki, I was hoping you would, like, use your, your, uh, ancient scepter to divert that, but it did not work. Mitsurai wishes he could go home. Mechamaru wants to end things once and for all with Mukuro, but Mechamaru bites the dust. Rest in peace, Mechamaru. Taichi is cooking up a genius idea. Komaru gets caught in one of Nagito's traps. Smugi is looking for someone dumb enough to believe her. Monosuke thinks this is all below his concern. Masaru kills Cannon, ambush style. Gozu, the great Gozu, twiddles his thumbs. Murasame's lifeless body is festering silently, Monadams is decaying, and Kurakumo really wants to use a flamethrower. 
Armed with his flame, with her flamethrower, Maya incinerates Teru Teru. Sorry, Teru Teru, you're out of here. The pile of flesh question mark that used to be crystal <laughs> the crystal ball. Got a question about that one, but it decomposes. Hajime is wearing his wizard robe leather scraps. Yuta wishes he didn't have to kill anyone. Sosuke is determined to survive this. Shirakuma is looking for someone dumb enough to believe him. That was Komaru in the game. Aiko just wants to end things already. Non AI Chiaki hopes she doesn't have to harm anyone. The outside world can't wait to kill again. Daisaku twiddles his thumbs. Kiroko is being adorable as always. Akane looks around for stuff to scrounge. Munakana is on the verge of snapping. Taro's lifeless body is rotting. Sister and Masaru joyfully incinerate each other with their flamethrowers. When the fire dies down, there's not much left of them. Gone to the flames of hope. Takamichi finds a lovely bikini and puts it on. It is quite revealing. Angie really wants to use her flamethrower. Hiro's body is full of maggots. Jotaro's raging fury is grasping his chest, and his frenzy grows so overpowering that his heart gives out. Mikan tries to kill Mukuro, but Mukuro retaliates and kills her instead. Fuhito catches a strange glow in the corner of his eyes, and now we have another ancient scepter in play. Arcane magic courses through his body as his feet, uh, fingers touch the carved wood. Ayaka looks around, maniacally seething. And Pimp Kazuichi tries to get others to notice him. We are down to our last 36. We are dwindling the competition bit by bit, but let's play the Claire de Lune for our fallen tributes. Kizakura, Chiaki, Mekamaru, Kanon, Teru Teru, Masaru, Sister, Jotaro, Mikan. And firstly, if your picks have made it thus far, you guys deserve a round of rousing golf clap. Because, who? even though I gave you a lot of picks, this is tough. <laughs> this is a tough one. Let's proceed. Let's go to the next round. I am curious to see who's going to win. I was going to say Fujito. I think it's one of the last people from the adult hunt, but he's gone. Just looking at the top. Round five. <laughs> Monokuma is only looking out for himself, Fujito gets mauled by wild animals, Samugi finds leather scraps, and we have another caveman in play. The outside world tries to kill Sakura, but the knight's armor is still doing work. Gundam mopes around uselessly, he's been doing that the whole game, Gundam please snap out of it. The great Gozu found, uh, finds a handgun, oh my goodness, just enough bullets to be useful. After rampaging for a while, Ayaka's frenzy grows so overpowering that her heart gives out. Shirakuma acts all cool in his dapper suit, <laughs> I believe that, I can see that happening. Akane hopes she doesn't have to harm anyone. Uh, Daisaku really feels sorry for Komaro and frees her from the trap. Tsubasa starts sobbing uncontrollably. Armed with a flamethrower, Takamichi torches Mondo to a crisp. So Zuko fires a rocket at Monophony, who gets absolutely blown to smithereens. Nagito sets another trap. Kiroko attacks Mitarai from behind and murders him. Sonya gets caught in one of Na oh, Sonya, please. Caught in one of Nagito's traps. All she can do now is hope to be freed. Not AI Chiaki twiddles her thumbs. Mukuro is determined to survive this. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I didn't think that they would use this word in a simulator. Saya I uh, know, I'm sorry. Sakura, I almost said Sayaka. That would have been I would have just left. I would have just ended the recording. It would have been the end of the game. Sakura looks absolutely glorious in her knight's armor leon doesn't really understand what's happening yuda never wants to kill anyone again kazuichi doesn't care much for this place he's a pimp and he's not pimping here kurakuma looks for someone dumb enough to believe him monotaro loves the way the rocket launcher feels on his shoulder and just like that we have knight komaru in existence there's so many knights in this game too Munakata is wearing leather scraps, and it's a sight to behold. Hajime wants to use the flamethrower, and she's being adorable as always. Aiko hopes she doesn't have to harm anyone. Monosuke finds us all below his concern. Taichi wishes he could go home. The dead husk of me. I'm full of maggots. Oh. <laughs> Maya is thinking about plans to get out of here, and the dead husk of Tengen decays peacefully. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hit us up with a clear day loon. We have 31 left, but the ones that we lost were... Fujito. Ayaka. Mondo, Monophony, Mitarai. And with our last 31 remaining, let's click next round because we have got to finish this one. We have a long running time. Oh, oh my gosh. Nagito wants to end things once and for all with Hajime, and Hajime bites the dust. Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six, and we are starting off strong. Non AI, a non AI Chiaki is twiddling her thumbs. Taichi and Shirakuma joyfully incinerate each other in the flames of hope, and when the fire dies down, there's nothing but 
burnt human remains and burnt robot remains. Fujito's corpse is decaying silently. Kiroko tries to kill Komaru, but her knight's armor diverts the blow. Gundam is looking around for stuff to scrounge. Mukuro can't wait to kill again. Rantaro's full of maggots, and so are his burgers. <sighs> Murakata snaps and is now frenzied. Akane hopes she doesn't have to harm anyone. Monotaro is looking out for her himself. Daisaku twiddles his thumb. Sakura sizes her muscles. The outside world is looking for an easy out. Komaru is feeling sorry for Sonya and frees her from the trap. Let's go. Sosuke is determined to survive this. The justice robots, the robot justice, his, his is decomposing. Uh, Monophony is full of maggots. She's probably vomiting at that. Kurokuma somehow finds a suit of medieval armor. Everyone's just- it's a, it's a whole bunch of knights of the round table just here. <laughs> How many knights do we have? If someone in the comments tell me all of the people by the end of this, <laughs> all of the people who donned a knight's armor, and I'm going to make them the knights of the round table. Monosuke tries to kill Tsubasa, but Tsubasa retaliates and kills him instead. Monokuma wants to use his flamethrower. Sonya thinks about what she did to end up here. Sumugi finds a bikini and puts it on. It's quite revealing. She's cosplaying as Sumugi in a bikini. Tsubasa never wants to kill anyone ever again. Maya eats something she shouldn't have and dies of horrible stomach pains. Leon really doesn't understand what's happening, but he's made it thus far, so he's doing something right. Aiko hopes she doesn't have to harm anyone. Angie burns Kurakuma with her flamethrower. Takamichi looks good in his bikini. Karumi is dead. Yuta spots something shiny in the distance. The great Gozu finds himself in a face-to-face -face with Sonya and shoots her dead with his gun. Rest in peace, my pig. You made it far. Kazuichi disappears for a while and comes back with a wizard robe. What better way to pimp than in a wizard robe? He slips it on, scatter <laughs> scattering sparkles everywhere. We have 24 people left. It's like an average game now, but we have to hit the Claire de Lune 4. Wizard robe Hajime. Shirakuma. Taichi. Monosuke. Maya. Kurakuma. Sonya. And let's proceed. It's now like a regular game. 24 remain. Let's see who takes the cake. Takamichi tries to kill Kazuichi, but his wizard rope is carrying, away to, uh, carrying him away to safety. Monokuma finds a sword shiny and sharp. It's a shiny and sharp, not shiny and sharp. <laughs> it's a rather nice find. Nagito seems unshaken by any of this. Monotaro loves the way his rocket launcher feels on his shoulder. Hiroko's lifeless body is dead sad. Samuki is wearing leather scraps, but also a bikini. The dead husk of uh, Chisa is dead. The outside world tries to kill Sakura, but the knight's armor is doing work. Sosuke just wants us to end already. Yuta wants to use his flamethrower. Kuroko is being adorable as always. Angie ambushes Yuta and gets rid of him. Kizakura is dead. Sakura sizes her muscles in her knight's armor. The dead husk of Cannon is writhing with maggots. Uh, Eiko wonders about the future. Akane doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Non-AI Chiaki, rest in peace, gets mauled by wild animals. You played well, non-AI Chiaki. You made the final 24. The great Gozu aims his handgun in the distance. Komaru loves the way the rocket launcher feels on her shoulder. And the <laughs> knight's armor <laughs> that is also there. Daisaku wonders about the future. Leon still doesn't understand what's going on. Gundam mopes around uselessly. Tsubasa wants to end this already. Munakata, in the fit of frenzy, creeps up on Eiko and kills her dead. Kazuichi doesn't care much for this place. Mukuro duels it out with Kiroko, and Kiroko bites the dust. Pennywort's lifeless body is full of maggots, but we lost four. We're in our final 20. Ladies and gentlemen, what a massive Hunger Games this is, but hit us up with the Claire de Lune 4. Yuta. Non-AI Chiaki. Aiko. Kiroko. And without further ado, once again, if you made it to the top 20, it is getting spicy now. My pick made it pretty far, but not the top 20. You guys, if you made your got a pick there, good on you. If all nine of your picks are there, you cheated. <laughs> Akane looks around for stuff to scrounge. In the flames of hope, the two despair girls, Mukuro and Samugi, die in the flames of hope. Armed with his flamethrower, Gundam inc uh, incinerates Monokuma to a crisp. That's the Gundam I was looking for, the one who's not moping around, but instead torching that bear. Haiji's full of maggots. Good. Monotaro seems unshaken by any of this. Kyoko's also full of maggots. Sad. Daisaku finds some leather scraps and he is now a caveman. Kamara wants to use her flamethrower. Nagito Wink uh, can't wait to kill again. Jin Kirigiri is writhing with maggots. Munakana is looking for his next victim. Uh, K Kazuichi, the ultimate pimp, is shaking his wizard sleeves and a thousand tiny animals fall out. They're probably all going to help Gundam. <laughs> I am dead. 
the outside world looks for someone dumb enough to believe them, Angie finds medieval armor. We got another knight, add her to the list. Uh, Sakura sizes her muscles, but <laughs> the one thing that he can't protect, that can't be protected by knight's armor is a freaking rocket, which Sosuke fires at Sakura, blowing her to bits. Leon finds a lovely bikini uh, and puts it on. It's quite revealing. You've done nothing in this game, Leon, but you find a bikini. was like, well, I might as well. Great Gozu tries to kill Kazuichi, but Kazuichi's wizard robe has carried him to safety. Takamichi tries to kill Kazuichi, but Kazuichi's wizard robe is like, no, not today, mortal. And he slams him into the ground. So long, Takamichi. And Tsubasa is being adorable as always. We're in our final 15, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ourselves a quick Claire de Lune 4. Sumugi. Mukuro, Monokuma, Sakura, Takemichi, and it's the final 15. Anyone could win this one. I think it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top, but Angie wonders about the future at the start of round 9. Komaru loves the way her rocket launcher feels on her shoulder. Gundam buys a dapper suit and puts it on. That's my boy. Aiko is full of maggots. Nekamaru is also full of maggots. Fujiko is dead. So is Hajime, but Kazuichi doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Nagito won't die like the others, but he's got a wizard robe, hold on. <laughs> Kazuichi, you should be very prepared. The outside world burns Leon to a crisp with the flamethrower. Monotaro fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Munakata's frenzy finally dies down. Tsubasa does something really cute. Die, Saku is watching, is wearing leather scraps as a sight to behold. Sosuke disappears from a while, disappears for a while, and now also has a wizard robe. He's a tough competitor in this one, let me tell you. He's making it a lot further than I thought. The Great Gozu trips and falls in a really bad way, breaking his neck. AI Gonta trips and falls in a really bad way, breaking his neck? Question mark? The dead husk of Kuroko is writhing with maggots. Akane spots something shiny in the distance, and Haiji is still dead. Ladies and gentlemen, the final 12, we've lost three. Claire de Lune 4. Leon. The Great Gozu, AI Gonta. And we have the final 12. After this round, I'll compile a quick little list. I'm sure you guys are paying attention, especially if your pick is still in, but let's go ahead and click next round. At the very top, we have Angie, who tries to kill Komaru, but her knight's armor diverts the blow. Daisaku thinks about what he did to end up here. Nagito sets a trap. Gundam mopes around uselessly. Monotaro is caught in Nagito's trap, and now all he can do is hope to be freed. Uh, Justice Hammer 2 is dead, as well as non-AI Chiaki and Sonya, but Komaru still wants to use her flamethrower. Kazuichi tries to get others to notice him. Sosuke shakes his wizard sleeve and another thousand tiny animals fall out. That's two thousand tiny animals for Gundam to use. Munakata twitches uncontrollably. Sosuke is full of maggots. Uh, the outside world is looking for an easy out. Akane hopes she doesn't have to harm anyone. Tsubasa feels sorry for Monotaro and frees him from the trap. Mukuro's corpse is silently dead. <laughs> uh, the pile of flesh that used to be Shirakuma is full of maggots and so is Monica. Our final 12 include Angie, Komaru, Daisaku, Nagito, Gundam, Monotaro, uh, let's see, Kazuichi, Sosuke, Munakata, The Outside World, Tsubasa, and Akane. Those are the final 12. Let's click next round. Nagito and Komaru joyfully incinerate each other in the flames of hope. Both of them enjoy hope. I get, well, Komaru's probably indifferent. She's just like, I want things to be okay again. <laughs> so long, Komaru. I was hoping you'd pull off the win this time, and so long, Nagito, too. Daisaku hums himself a song. Gundam washes the blood off of his dad pursuit. Angie tries to kill Tsubasa, but Tsubasa retaliates and kills her instead. Tsubasa does something really cute, like killing Angie, apparently. Munakata tries to kill Sosuke, but Sosuke's wizard robe has carried, away, carried him away to safety. Angie looks around for stuff to scrounge. Katoko is dead. Mikan's dead. Sosuke is washing the blood off of his wizard robe. Munmanotaro. Seems unshaken by any of this, the outside world wants to use their flamethrower, and Pimp Kazuichi tries to get others to notice, and we've lost three, we have nine remaining, and let's do a Claire de Lune 4. Komaru. Nagito. Angie. And we are so close to the end. We are so close to naming a winner. <coughs> Sosuke challenges Munakata to a deal, Munakata bites the dust. Tsubu Tsubasa. Whew. Doesn't feel prepared for any of this, Gundam looks great in his dapper suit. Uh... Justice Hammer 2 is dead, Monotaro finds medieval armor, add him to the freaking round table, the knights of the round table, Kurakuma's dead, Daisaku stares into the distance, the outside world is looking for an easy out, Kazuichi tries to get others to notice him, and Akane spots something shiny in the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, a quick Claire de Lune 4. Munakata. 
And we gotta continue. We only have eight left. It's almost the end. Ruruka's dead. Kazuichi feels orpha horrible for what he did. Gundam's moping around again. Gundam, please. Tsubasa does something really cute. Daisaku is wearing leather, scraps him aside to behold the outside world. Can't wait to kill again. Monotaro's now got a slingshot. How quaint. Akane sobs quietly, but Monotaro is not using his slingshot because <laughs> Sosuke is firing these rocket launchers time after time. Ladies and gentlemen, quick Claire de Lune 4. Monotaro. And we've got to go next round. We're losing one at a round at this pace. Tsubasa doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Daisaku wonders about the future. Gundam wants to use his flamethrowers. Sosuke loves the way that the rocket launcher feels on his shoulders. The outside world finds a magic wand. Oh boy. Akane sees something shiny in the distance. Kazuichi finds some leather scraps and is now pimp caveman. Kazuichi. Kibo, Maki, and Kaito are all dead, but let's proceed. Just a reminder, apparently. Taichi's corpse uh, is dead, Daisaku eats something he shouldn't have and dies of horrible stomach pains, the pile of flesh that used to be Tenkin is also dead, Akane doesn't feel prepared for any of this, Takaaki is bad, he's dead, so is Yuta. Armed with the flamethrower, Gundam burns Tsubasa to a crisp, Sosuke is determined to survive, Shuichi and Kamiko are both dead. The outside world waves their magic wand around, sending sparkles everywhere, and Kazuichi watches the blood off of his wizard robe. Ladies and gentlemen, our final five. It's getting so close to the wire. We have Pimp Kazuichi, the outside world, Gundam, Akane, and Sosuke. But let's get a Claire de Lune 4. Daisaku. Tsubasa. And if your pick made it to the final five, out of 99 picks, good on you. But, ladies and gentlemen, in the flames of hope, Sosuke and the outside world incinerate each other. Nagito is dead, Celeste is dead, Gundam ambushes Kazuichi and murders him, Akane thinks about what she did to end up here, also it's so long ultimate, but I miss you. Uh, Sister and the Great Gozu are dead. It is down to Akane and Gundam. If Gundam... I'm fine with either of these two winning. First of all, let's do a quick, a quick Claire de Lune for the outside world. Sosuke. Kazuichi. Okay, it's Akane and Gundam. It's Akane and Gundam. I'm fine with either one of them winning, but Akane and Gundam, please. Hero's dead, Kurumi's dead, Rantaro's dead, Tengen's dead. Gundam tried to kill Akane, he tried. But Akane retaliates and kills him instead. Akane survived, but at what price? The saddest Claire de Lune. Four. The Supreme Overlord of Ice, Gundam Tanaka. I was so excited! If Gundam would have won, I would have ran. I would have ran out of the room, through the house, celebrating. You would have heard in the distance, you winners, Gundam, but that's not the case. But let's not take that away from it. 99 competitors, the one remaining, your winner of the final Hope Hunger Games, Akane. Okay, so first of all, good job, Akane. Good job. I can't take that away from you. You did it. You survived all 99. How many kills did you have, actually? I, I, as, as if I can see where you are on this list. Let's go ahead and, uh, control F. She had one kill. The only kill was on the person who I wanted to... Mm, my heart. My heart. He almost won, you guys. He was so close. All right. But if anything, we have a whole bunch of Knights of the Round Table. Honestly, <laughs> Honestly, I might find out myself, but if I don't find out, someone keep a running tab, someone rewatch the video and see how many people ended up with Knight's Armor because they're a part of the round table now. Congrats to Akane, we have put up, put it up, right there, the full list of winners for the Danganronpa Hunger Games, except for those two mystery spots, which will be filled out this weekend by you guys. And let me tell you how. Today, as this video goes up, there will be a poll going up either... It'll be on the community tab. 
it will definitely be on the community tab. The link to it will be on the community tab. And you have 24 hours to vote in that poll. And that poll is going to be... It's out right now, so you can go into the community tab and look at it while I'm talking about it. It'll be a list of potential categories to vote from. You guys won't know who's in what category, but it'll be a list of potential categories. I'll list some of them off right now. It'll be like, you can choose the best of second place or the most kills in the all of the games. Because I have that data now, because I went through and I was like, let's just go through. I made a little database for it. It's really nice. It's really cute. But <laughs> I'm sorry. It was actually really fun to set up that database. I'm a nerd. Um, so I have all of that data. Uh, there's also going to be like a category for memes. That's fine and dandy. Uh, the top two selected will be voted on the next two days. So whichever one is voted on first, one person from that category will be selected to be in Mew's second spot. And the second category will be the person selected from that category to fill Nekamaru's spot. So over 24 hours from right now, Sunday, or not sorry, Saturday at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time, that poll will close and the second one will go up. Saturday to Sunday, uh, 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the first poll will close, we'll have the first winner, uh, and then the second one will open up. And then Monday at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time, the last poll will close and we will finally have the last two spots who you guys vote for and it's going to be exciting next friday is the season one finale of danganronpa hunger games i'm excited it's gonna be a good one it's it's been a long time coming uh the day before that uh, wednesday no i'm sorry the thursday before there's gonna be something going up. It'll be related to the Ding and Rapa Hunger Games. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. It might be top moments. It might be a compilation. It might be by the numbers. I might share some of the information from the database because a lot of that's really interesting. There's a lot of people who've gotten second place a load of times and last place a load of times. All oh, right, I can put last place in that poll too. This is actually just me pre-thinking because the poll's already gonna be made. So it's like you guys are watching me about a day or so in the past, but I'm I'm just excited. It's gonna be a fun time. You guys are gonna select those spots. Thursday will be a special episode. It won't be an actual Hunger Games, but it'll be like a recap of the season, so you're all prepared for Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, thank you for watching. This has been the final hope. Congratulations to Akane. Almost congratulations to you, Gundam. I'm so sorry, my boy. <laughs> you just can't pull off. You got second place out of 99, and that's just... That's good on you. That's good on you, mate. It really is. Ladies and gentlemen, see you next Thursday. Tune into the community tab. I'll be posting those polls. One of them's already posted. Toodaloo, flight crew. It's a good year of the year. It truly is. It truly is. Bye.